Oh my gosh. Never have I ever arrived somewhere on Fijian time. <laughs> There's African time, Aussie white time, and then there's fusion time. Because when the party starts, that's when the people start yeah, getting exactly. ready. <laughs> party don't start <laughs> till <laughs> I walk in. <laughs> Bulavinaka, today we will be doing Fijian Never Have I Ever. My name is Salai Rakatuai. I'm from Tailevu Mbao, Vasu Delta Ta. My name is Bevik and I'm from Bao in Tailevu. I'm Thelma Thomas, aka MC Trey. Links to Tailevu, to Ra. Um, and also to Savasav and Veno level. Bolanaka guys, my name is Elis Savani Devar. My dad's from uh, Reo and my mom's from uh, Savasav. I'm Voli Kay. My beautiful uh, homeland village is called Kandavu. Bolanaka guys, my name is Micah Lemboy Valu, aka Aikamaze. I'm from Veno level, Vasu Kandavu. Woo -woo! Our people are really happy people. Wherever you see Fijians, you always see the smile. We do tend to represent our country proud here in Australia. A very diverse bunch. We're passionate about our music, our footy of course, and our food and church. Never have I ever been asked if I drink kava. I have. I have too. I have. I have yeah, always, definitely. man, definitely. All the time. Yes, definitely, all the time. <laughs> what Fijian doesn't drink kava? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's actually plant-based. Crush it into powder form, it's then mixed with water and filtered through someone's stocking. It's not a stocking, but it looks like stocking. It tastes like mud, looks like mud, but it isn't mud. That's probably the only good thing about it. It's a great drink to socialise with. Yep. And yeah, if you're after a hard day of work, you want to relax, just have a bottle of kava and you'll be right. It's also a medicinal thing. Like yeah, and use. it's better than alcohol, so if I were you, I'd drink kava. Never have I ever been asked if I play sevens. Come on guys, look at me. Uh, <laughs> I have. Mm. I asked if I play sevens, would I play, will I join the team, will I join the touch footy team, will I play netball, and I don't do any of it. I feel like it. you played a bit of it. <laughs> never. And do I look like I play sevens, honey? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never. I have. I've um, never. Oh. Oh, yeah? I just think every Fijian plays sevens. The water boy, that's what they call me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Never have I ever changed my accent when talking to a fellow Fijian. Maybe don't lie. <laughs> I have, actually, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I have. I have. <laughs> always, always. <laughs> I know, so, it's just natural, eh? Hey, Bras, you got that. <laughs> you go from rude to like, uh, yeah, yeah, mola, mola, mola. Show them, Mola, how's it? Yeah, like, pretty much, that's it. Hey, how are you, man? <laughs> what have you been up to? You know, notice the, the eyebrows the and the tones, the eh? It goes up and down. Never have I ever had that convo with my parents. Whee! Wow. I'm assuming the bees and the birds. I've never. <laughs> Yeah, I've never. never. I've never. I've, I've never, never had that. <laughs> I have, but only with my mum. And it was funny because I had to ask her. I have actually. My parents haven't really spoken to me, but I've overheard like conversations, them counselling my siblings. So I just had to educate my own self about <laughs> sex <laughs> education. <laughs> no, no. No, go inside to your room. Stay, lock Stay the now. door. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> That's what they'd say. And it's not normal to like talk about sex, sex education, education in like households and like stuff but yeah times are changing i mean a lot of parents are opening up yeah. in trying to normalize the topic never have i ever arrived somewhere on fijian time is this a joke <laughs> <laughs> I, I have am. guilty <laughs> i have it's i don't know it's just a part of us there's african time aussie white time and then there's fijian time <laughs> Yeah. Two hours, do you reckon? Two hours? If you're going to have a wedding and it's at 3pm, tell everyone it's at 12. Because then they'll come roughly about 3. Because when the party starts, that's when the people start yeah, getting exactly. ready. <laughs> party don't start <laughs> till I walk in. Never have I ever been roasted by my Fijian aunties and uncles. Oh, no, of course. <laughs> yeah. 100%. No. Yes. I have been roasted so many times. I haven't. I don't doubt that they probably talk behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> they always say stuff about weight. Oh my gosh, you've put on weight. Or oh, you're looking swell the today. The you're looking very swell. She needs to calm down. It's usually the personal questions, but they, they ask it publicly. It, yeah. He's very single. Girls, 
For your single, oh. please comment below. Hey, are you married yet? Yeah, it's usually. Are you married yet? Never have I ever not been able to roll my R's. I try. I don't say I try, but I don't do it well. No, I've we never. never. Yeah. I've never. Rugby. Yeah, rugby. City Veni Rambuka. Rambuka. Road of Matan. You know how the rugby commentators on TV say Petro Sivoni Seva oh. instead of Petro Vivoni Veva? So that's a classic oh, example. Semi Rajra. Yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever raised my eyebrows while talking to a Fijian. I do it all the time. I have, definitely. I don't say it's all the time. You just raised your eyebrow with me. Yes, I have. I have so many times. It's almost like a language on its own. It's like when people point with their eyes, people raise their eyebrows like... Oh, always. Just look at him. I, I have, yeah. I have my nieces and nephews at home. And if I see a rubbish, I don't need to talk to them. I just go, just raise your, raise your eyebrows and you see everyone run around the house. To indicate that you know each other, if you're from the islands, you do one of those, hey, no, those chin up, chin up and everything up kind of thing. Never have I ever sat on the couch instead of the floor. I have. I have. I think we all do it, right? Yeah. I have. I have, but it's very rare that you do this, especially if you're visiting someone's house. You don't go straight to the couch, you go the couch straight is to the floor. Just for decoration, guys. As soon as I enter, I'll be sitting right in front of the door. If they ask you to sit on the couch, it's a trick question, don't do it. <laughs> it's just sitting there waiting for the second couple. <laughs> especially if there's elders there, sit on the floor. And then if they say, Dambe daike, that means sit on top, that's mm. when you. That's when you can sit on That's that. when you upgrade yourself on the floor to the couch. <laughs> when you lower yourself, it shows, you know, you're giving respect to the person and the height, you know, so they're sitting above and you're sitting lower. When you go to, like, someone's house, like a Fijian's house, you don't go through the front door. Like, you, you go, go either the through the door. side or the back door. Yeah. If they invite you, and that's when they're gonna, they will open their front door to you. So always remember, if you go to a Fijian's house, side door or back door. Never have I ever introduced Bounty rum to my non-Fijian friends. I don't think I've had... Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I've had Fijian rum. Fijian rum yeah. is Bounty oh, rum. never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> bounty rum is like the tequila of Fiji. Of Fiji. Not good. Very strong. I've never. You have. And they didn't like it, let's just say that. They didn't wake up. <laughs> We you drink two shots, you go back home crawling. It's that bad. It is. And it's very nice though, very nice for a brown liquor. So if you like yeah. the brown liquor tings, I would suggest leading that way. Never have I ever sung a Fijian song publicly. <laughs> this is really <laughs> our anthem singer of every event that we have. I have. I cannot sing to save my life, but <laughs> Yeah, when a song breaks out, like everyone just joins in and it feels so natural because it, yeah. singing has been part of our culture. It's a way of storytelling. Whether you're by yourself or whether you're with family gathering, we always belt out a song. One, no, two, no, no, three, no. and I'll do the action chorus. That's so why do it today, but yeah, Illy we'll... gets asked. This is how you clap as a Fijian, right? Never have I ever gone a smack from my parents. Woo! I was the smack king. <laughs> I have. It's very common for Islander parents to beat that out of your kids, literally for a disciplined way. And you know what? I thank yeah. my parents every day for like giving me discipline because otherwise I would just be a mess. The hose. The hose. To the vacuum, like, you know, the vacuum, the extension cord, like the, the end of oh. it, you know, that's, oh, mate. High heels, you get to, get to someone's heels and you, like that. My dad just took off literally the TV connection, just... Ouch. It was a wake-up call for me that morning. The belt, the spoon, <gasps> the branches from the trees that I were around. I was going to meet the maker that day. Oh, it's good you're still here. I'm still here, I'm still standing. It is the funnest thing to be 
be able to be in touch with your culture, whether it's talking about coconuts, talking about kava, talking about the best holiday destination, being able to understand that us as Fijians is to be proud of what we do and how, how we've done it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Micah. I'm Volley K. Maka. Naka. A big Vinakavaka label and we hope that you've enjoyed watching us today. If you want to hear more, see more, more Fiji and Australian buzz videos, subscribe, hit the link, share, comment, all of the above. Mother! Thank you for watching. Mother! Mother! <laughs> Did you see that eyebrow? <laughs> that was a <laughs> <Is that> eyebrow <laughs> conversation. <laughs>